so are you like a craftsman who just does acting jobs to pay the mortgage? Like you're really in some scientific lab on your days off and you just take a, a role like Zodiac, which by the way, really a haunting performance in that very good on your part. Thank you. Um, thank you again for another really great question. Um, I think that uh, everything I do is because of passion and love. Uh, you know, maybe not taking out the trash, but but as far as all my creative efforts, and I love I love acting. I love the collaboration of it. I love learning a character, you know, developing the character, and then working with other people. And that moment, like after you do a take, and and they're doing the next setup, whatever, and the actors don't go back to their trailers. They just kind of stay on the set because there's something that magical that happened. You just kind of want to soak it up a little bit and maybe not even go back to each other. They would just hang around. Uh, I love that collaboration, the tribe, same with, same with rock and roll bands. It's that the tribe getting together for a unification situation. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now I know a bunch of people who worked with Fi uh, um, Fincher and Fincher is a guy who likes to do a couple hundred takes sometimes. Did he, was he like that with you? And did you know what you wanted to do for this sort of hauntingly haunting character or or did he like have some instruction on how he wanted you to play it well i certainly had ideas uh but to get to the first part of your question i had no idea that he was uh a lover of multiple takes and the first night was that i worked was when i'm driving and i pick jake up outside of the movie theater in my car and before he gets in you know i have a cigarette and like 25 26 and i'm thinking what the fuck maybe Maybe I'm not really an actor. Maybe I just fool myself all these years. And then finally goes, okay, print that one. And Jake like, says something to me, like, welcome to the club. And then I find out that he likes to do lots of takes. And once I knew that, fine, I'll do 100. I, it's like a playground. Let's play. Let's fun. That's a fun. I'll do it. I'll do it a thousand times. I'll do it in Greek accents. I'll do one as a, a dancing kidney bean. I don't care. I just let's get something good. So once I knew that, it was great. Hi, you needed to speak to me? Yes, there's a coffee shop right on the corner. Why don't we just go to my home? Oh, I, I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble at all. Where are you from? Uh, just right, right there. You can follow me? Oh, OK. the avenue may have played while you were the organist there. Uh, the most dangerous game. Oh, it's a classic. RKO 1932, Fay Ray, Joel McRae, Leslie Banks. We've run that picture many times. In 68, 69? Mm, I'd have to check my records. Why? Do you remember the Zodiac? This is about Rick Marshall, isn't it? He was a projectionist there, right? Or time, yes but I have no occasion to correspond with him these days. Okay, well, there is a connection between one of the Zodiac attacks and that film. You mean the symbol? Hold on. The Zodiac symbol on film. It's on the countdown. It's trimmed by a feature before it's shown, but it always arrives with it. Right there. First time I saw it in the papers, I thought about that. We got a tip that Rick left a, a film canister here that he told you never to open. A tip about a mysterious film canister. Is it true? Yes. Did you open it? No. May I see it? Rick took it back in 1972. 
This tip is how you got it in your head that Rick is the Zodiac. That and the poster. The poster. Um, the poster that Rick drew. The handwriting is the closest that we have ever come to a match. Rick didn't draw any posters. No, he drew this one. Mr. Graysmith, I do the posters myself. It's my handwriting. I won't... I won't take any more of your time. Why don't I just go and find out when we play that film? But that's all right. It's not a problem. They're just down in the basement. Not many people have basements in California. I do. Come in, Mr. Grayson. The original. Studio One sheets I always kept for myself. Cheapo knockoffs like you brought today, I end up tossing into the back alley. Sanders game ran in May 69, so that would be about nine weeks before the first Zodiac Lair, correct? Uh, yeah. Do you think he saw the film in our theater and was inspired? Are you sure there's nobody else in the house? Would you like to go upstairs and check? No. Thank you. Thanks for everything. You're welcome. Smith. What a great eye he has. And it was one day where there was a, in the background, there was a red house on a hill and it was a little too bright because of the sun. He just wanted to wait a little bit. So the sun went down a little bit so the house wouldn't be so bright. I mean, what an eye. So do you look back on that and go, yeah, that's the role right there. That's better than anything I've done is playing that nut job and Zodiac. Um, I definitely, it's one of my favorite parts. I was in the movie in uh, another instance as well. Marvin Bella is on television talking about something and some mental patient calls in from a hospital. Uh, Fincher had me do that too. They were known as Lucifer and the men with painted faces. Then they burned New Orleans to the ground. And when they sacked Panama, I knew that my road to redemption would be paved with tombstones. And by the time they brought the apocalypse to West Africa, and the Indian Ocean, I would come to know two words with biblical significance. No quarter. No quarter.
Kill All Masters, rated R. Coming soon. Available on all platforms. Visit NoQuarterKillAllMasters.com.